Yes, I did it. Okay, come come closer to the screen. Great. Okay, we like All it. Right. All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, well, what a uh, fabulous series and Murad oh. was quite was quite the dude in the show. Yeah, I like the oh, way. Oh, thank you. All your outfits and all those colors and all those, uh, you know, what you wore. Tell me about the look first. And first, first, how did you get the series and how, you know, the look, your look. We're talking about Taj um, divided by blood on Z5. Um, so I got this. Uh, so, you know, I was going through, uh, what's it called? Um, a lot of roles and everything was very similar. Everything was very... Um, um, what's it called? Very um, today's age, let's say a college thing or something like you know, like just very normal stories. And I, I was really, really hoping, and I know you know as well. But like for like twelve years, I've been really hoping for something that kind of gives me a variation in in, in my portrayal, you know. So um, finally, when this came along, it, this role was already casted for, and uh, they'd already signed somebody on, and the director was was happy with him. But uh, Raghav, who is um, one of the one of the team members of Z5, one of the heads, he randomly called me and he's like, you know, just send me your audition. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, but just send it. I'll try and show it to them because you're really good at action. I want and I want you to just try it. I said, OK, so I sent it to him. Didn't hear back for two, three weeks. And then randomly I got a call and uh, he managed them to watch it and uh and finally, they called me into the office. They're like, we just wanted to meet you if we could, like, you know, maybe see if you could do any other character. And I'm like, you know, and I was really sad because I, I, I really wanted to be Murad. And I wanted I wanted that character because I knew how they were writing it. Hmm. And uh, because Salim was already locked and Daniel also was locked already. Everybody was locked. I was the last guy to, to actually come on board. So um, when I met the director, Ron and William, William was like... Um, I showed them my work, you know, the work I did in the US and the UK. I've done my work here and my action. So William was like completely was, uh, you know, he completely like wanted me on board. But Ron, who's the director, he's, he wasn't completely convinced. And he's like, I still I still feel the other guy might, you know, will do better justice. And um, one week passes and I get a call from uh, Varsha and she's like, uh, you got it. And she's like, oh. only because Will completely, completely pushed for you. And he's like, if it's not Taha, it's nobody. I'm not doing it without Taha. I don't even know why he stood up for me. I have no idea. Like, he didn't even know me. It was meant to but, be. And so, yeah, so that's how it actually happened. And um, I went for the, I mean, now for the looks. So, we went for the look test. Initially, they were putting on this really, like, how your hair is right now. Like, okay. that long hair. Uh -huh. They were putting it on me. All right. And um, I really enjoyed that look, actually. I, I, I really wanted to do it. You know, because they wanted me to go completely, completely short. And I didn't want to go completely short because I've done that before. I wanted to go, you know, something different. So I really fought for that. That didn't work out. But then they said, okay, fine. Just keep your normal length. You know, whatever it is, it's decent. You don't need to go too short. Um, so it was fine. So, but as far as the getup is concerned, um, Nirusha, who's the who's the style, who basically kind of designed the whole looks for the show. Right. Um, she was very, very intricate about every detail. You know, she was she was very uh, particular about the research done. She was very particular about where it should be made in. So I think some of the things actually came in from Turkey. Mm -hmm. You know, she got things made from Turkey, the, those rings and everything that we wear, the jewelry yeah, yeah. came down from yeah, Turkey yeah. and uh, some, some from here too, but um, it was a complete, complete, um, uh, and what's it called? And the you surma. Know? The surma. The surma was, uh, you know, it was in the end, you know, to be very honest, without that surma, Murad is not Murad. Mm -hmm. You know, when that, when that surma and the, and the thing came on my eye, I just felt Murad. I mm -hmm. just felt him. And I'm like, this is this is the defining. I can wear all the costume and everything, but without this kajal, he would never be Murad. So mm -hmm. I feel that that is that played a big role in kind of converting me every time into getting into Murad was that kajal, that final touch. Right. And when you look into it, it's it it kind of nailed it. And all the three brothers had to look different. Though so they were similar, but they were so different in personalities. And yours was a little yeah. quite a darkest. Yeah, quite out of the three, you were the darkest. I think we can say. Easily, um, I, I I think uh, I, I darkest in the in, in the, the sense, in the, in the sense of uh, he was very sure he's a warrior. He's more of a he doesn't have anything else distracting him. He's very clear about uh, power and he's clear about winning and he's very clear about warfare and he's not the political guy. He's not the he not he doesn't uh, he does he's governed by people of course but he doesn't 
he's more of an action he's more of uh, you know uh, yeah he's he is not the manipulative and those no. thinking political kinds he's just like all right you want impulsive. this let's go get it impulsive yeah yeah impulsive impulsive no definitely that's uh, that's uh, one of the main characteristics of uh, murad is that you know he's uh, completely well impulsive and spontaneous you know he doesn't know what he does it you know he just acts upon it hmm. but um, the i would also like to say you know so you said that um um the other the three brothers he seems the darkest i would like to also add that you know when it was written when, when i read the whole series okay. he was written very dark and he was written very um um uh, one dimensional mm. to be very honest mm. you know so i spoke to ron and i said you know he's coming off as just a just a mad brute you mm. know with yeah. thing in his heart and 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 that can't, that can't really drive a person you mm. know what i mean what drives that person is always his heart in mm. any way whether it be bad or good Mm-hmm. so um i told him that you know his deepest darkest desire end of the day is not him um wanting the throne it Valid- is actually him wanting the validation of his father, father you know and if his father had given him some validation and some respect and some love you know throughout the series you will see that even when i did get rahul bose back when i got the you know mm-hmm. he initially scolded yeah, us that, that we lost him and when we got it back he still beat me like you know he still kind of like got down hard on me because you, you know, were never pr- yeah the sister was also imprisoned so there was a lot of angst there yeah i watched yeah. it very closely and uh, the fact that uh, nasir sahab and you tell me that experience that must be a lifetime once in like a, i mean i i know it's actually not going to be because there's going definitely going there's something in the more. there's definitely something in planning uh but um the first day we met him i was uh, we were going for a reading this was, and um, he was sitting at the head of the table and uh, we three brothers kind of like walked in one by one like i i walked in first and then salim and then them uh, mashim and shubham kind of walked in like 5 7 minutes later and he was really pissed off at them because they were late all right and then i was i was also 5 minutes late so then he looked at me and then he was just like he was just, mm, you know so, and then they came and he was mm, you know and but by the time we were on set um he kind of opened up to us and uh, he understood all of us he treated us very differently he treated salim in a different manner i mean ashim according to salim he treated shubham according to how he would treat shubham i mean danial and he treated me as he would treat murad you know and mm-hmm. almost almost in the thing that as far as murad is concerned sometimes he would uh, not talk to me you know what i mean and at sometimes he would actually like in 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 a in a festive occasion when we were shooting then he would talk to me Hmm. you know he would actually and and i always i realized um you know i always i spoke to him many a times of course in the break times and when i would catch him um i would i would i would i would approach him of course cuz i wanted to strike up a conversation so i would always strike up a conversation about his about his his you know the movies that inspired me of him you know whether it be commercial or in the parallel cinema both ways hmm. i've asked him about sparish i asked him about uh telka you know with dharam paji and how how it was you know and he's always given us very um, great insights of how he made himself a better actor and how he's always looking to making himself a better actor you know his dedication and his uh, constant um, appreciation of the art it just you can see it in his eyes you can see it in his actions you know whether he's on set he's always reading his script he's always discussing with me he's always like let's run it let's run it let's run it you know most of the people don't want to run lines for some reason but you know seeing a personality of that age and that uh, at that at that yeah. mm-hmm. prolific as a prolific actor as himself is coming down to us and is saying let's run the lines man let's run the lines let's do it you know how about we do it like this what do you think you know he's very accommodating that way it's not about me 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 it's it's about us 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 and uh, it comes from theater right so there's a lot of uh, it's not just about one person it's a group activity and it's not just about one star so absolutely so it's 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 his way of approach and his uh, you know his openness to to you know opening up his experiences to us is what i really appreciate and most of all he was more than a father a friend on set mm. and uh, finally when the show released i mean not really that just before the release when there was a premiere and uh, he had come he watched the two he watched two episodes right he never saw my work before that so he saw the two episodes and and i was and everybody was saying bye bye whatever whatever but then he called me he's like come over here i went up to him yes sir yes sir yes sir tell me and he's like uh, he 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 held he put his hand on my on my face and he said uh, and he tapped it and then he gave me a kiss oh right that's priceless that <laughs> you come and me have to 
no yeah and he said that you and me have to do a film together oh. <laughs> i'm like yes yes <laughs> say it for the camera yeah so he said it for the camera too <laughs> So we have it on record. I'm like, I want to bring this back to you, sir. Like, you know, <laughs> you 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 said it. So um, so yeah, no, that was. I think that is um, uh, you know, the biggest. The, I mean, I feel I felt most proud when that happened because you know nobody bigger than him, as far as acting is concerned. You know, so if 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 he's giving me a kiss, man, I'm good. <laughs> okay, and tell me about your next project after this huge, massive success of this one. What is the next one that we expect from you? um well this just just two three projects which are in the pipeline um but the the closest one right now um, is 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 a project which is um, a comedy project it's, it's it's a sitcom and uh, it's with kunal roy kapoor and uh, chandan mm. and um, uh, what's it called yeah so I, i mean it's a rohan sippy project i can't really reveal much about the project right now but I, but let me tell you I've, i've never done something like this before actually I, I think one of the only people who actually shoot something like this is Rohan Sippy mostly, and like you know, not too many people shoot it this way. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, but it's going to be an incredible fun ride, and um, and I hopefully a never seen before kind of a show to come onto an OTT platform. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, that is something I'm really really excited about. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one I have to tell you a little later, but you'll be very proud of me for the next one okay. when I tell you it. You'll be very very proud. So when is that uh, moment going to come? When are you going to reveal it? I mean, I'm hopefully in the next six months. I mean, when 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 he dis- when the director decides to put it out, he wants to <laughs> wants to do it in a certain way. So when he does, yeah, I mean, I won't I won't even have to tell you. It, you will know it. Okay. Also, tell me over the years you've been in uh, Mumbai for how many years now? Fourteen years? Ten? Almost fourteen. Uh, I I was here two thousand ten. So about thirteen. This is my thirteenth year now. Thirteenth year, and you started with. Um, I mean, why films? And then now you did quite a bit. You also have done international projects. So tell me about that. Of course, this one was also international because the crew was all mixed. But tell me about your international. Uh, international. I, you know, inter- I mean, to be very honest, uh, me and me and Tushar, we we really wanted to open up our market in the West because it's becoming, uh, you know, a lot more in incorporating a lot more. uh what's it called nationalities and you know different kind of faces mm. and you know the world's opening up and uh so we thought it was a, at that moment of time a, you know a good moment to kind of go there and kind of just because to be very honest at that time there was nothing much happening for me mm. so you know I wanted to kind of explore and uh, hopefully build a base in another country especially america mm. where we could uh, we could you know kind of try basically try and what kya kare hamara hamara hatme to hai ki kuch So um that's what happened and luckily we got this film called Drop of the Unleashed mm. you know which was based on a book and it was produced by Nisha and was directed by this guy called Tony Stoppelrun and um it was um based again in the 1920s 30s about um a very rich indian family in the british empire and uh, it's it's about this young girl who's about to get um uh, arranged married to a much older man mm. and uh, but me but she falls in love with me and uh, you know how we elope and at that time of course elope you know mm. eloping is very yeah look from all of course even today so um so then it's all about you know the culture and um, and about the basically everybody in the family has you know a great side the mother the father her mother her father our grandmother you know and uh, nobody nobody is completely um, good you know and everybody has like an alternate an ulterior motive So I feel the complexities of the character is very well rounded off in that in the book and of course in the in the film. Um, you will have to see it. Um, hopefully it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon, but it's in the US. But um, I, uh, but if you can watch it, it'd be great. The other one was a film called Eighty um, Eight Key Salute. I think now they've changed the name to I don't remember, but they they changed the name. But um, to be very honest, um, it's 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 been in edit for the last year, and I I don't really know when they're going to release it. Mm-hmm. but it is another very very beautiful role i have to say because it's about um it's about it's 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 um based in the in the time of the cold war mm-hmm. um it's based in germany and the story and it's it's about this uh my character plays um um basically a pianist who's very who's who used to be very very famous and uh and and what happened was that his um uh, 
his house caught on fire and to save his family and his you know and his fiance he kind of got burnt completely and his hands got burnt so he could never play piano again which then leads him to become a piano coach where he finds this one girl who is a genius at 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 playing the piano except uh she doesn't want to play it you know oh. and uh, and she has her own co- complexes in her family where her father is an army general you know played by manu bennett and uh, he really wants her to play the piano and and you know he's very he's very forceful upon her and uh, then she blames you know it's about it's about that family dynamics going on and then when she comes to me i'm very very hard on her because you know i was i used to practice like as a character he used to practice so hard where she's naturally gifted and she doesn't want to whereas oh, i'm burnt and the, i want that's to. the conflict hmm. that's the conflict and uh, and it's about how we both have to then kind of change each other's life mm-hmm. to uh, you know to kind of uh, appreciate the and love the music together right and that's what the story is about and uh, it's very beautiful because um, the music um, and the concerto in the film itself is is actually taken from beethoven's concerto you know from bach's concerto she's actually got that music on board mm-hmm. and that's why it's just going to be a masterpiece but i really wish it comes out i i, mean, I wish okay. you you were in dubai recently your home turf and you promoted the film tell me how was the response what was how did you feel coming back home no it, it's more you know i've been coming back home for like 10 years 12 11 mm-hmm. years now you know and i've been always trying to promote something just trying 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 but the kind of response that taj has gotten i guess um, first of all in india which then has led on to the people over there in the middle east um is really um humbling to be very honest and uh, lots of people are recognizing me to be and you know if they're actually looking that i've actually done good work Quite now right. mm-hmm. yeah and and i'm not just i'm not just i'm you know before we were doing a lot of projects but nobody really took notice but this project has taken notice i guess and everybody in the project has you know been blessed so um the response has been fantastic uh my 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 lots of friends who have never have not spoken for like spoken for like 10 years have messaged me saying that they've seen the show you know and that's a, that's that means it's reaching out to people mm-hmm. and um you know and so, so this is technically as one of my friends put it this is your this is the start of my round 2 mm-hmm. you know what yeah, i mean good round and, two. Uh, and uh, yeah it's a good round too so yeah it took me you know 13 years to get this round too but um i hope that this 13 years is going to be the you know a little Take a little peak more yeah yeah wonderful is there anything more that you're doing which we need to know let me know what else um no i mean my biggest project is that something that i really want aren't to you, do aren't you producing you're not interested in anything oh, like, what about acting yes. what other things apart i mean i have about uh, as far as production is concerned we wanted to uh, produce a small film i mean i my mom wanted to produce it and um, you know she said that after acting i mean you know after 10 years we need to get into production we need you know you will have to progress hmm. you know you so um we started small right now we did a small gujarati film um uh, it's called harna and uh, we're actually going to try like we're going to start off with the with the hopefully the marketing of it very soon but that is something that i would like to personally share with you on a on a different note and mm-hmm. you can watch the film also prior yeah. to the release yeah. and if you can have you have any points then please let us know and we can you know work on that and make it better okay. but that is something that we we have done hopefully we'll uh, try and release it this year itself in the next two months mm. uh, um yeah besides that i guess um yeah i mean this is this is all i'm doing great all the best and wish you success always and when you are in dubai and i'm also in dubai this time you could yeah. but next time hope to see you and good luck yes. always for what you've done but i'm going to come and see you in your office or wherever you are yes of course we'll meet soon yeah you take care and connect soon yeah bye bye